What is up everyone? I am Sorkin090 and this is going to be part 3 of the, uh, well, Super Mario 64 Let's Play. I was about to say Legend of Zelda. I've been doing that Let's Play for a very long time, but I'm just not, I'm just not thinking straight today. What do you have to say, little toad? <laughs> what are you, anyways? Just look at that little derpy face right there. <laughs> it's smiling, it's just jumping around, it's just like, hey, I'm right here, but I can't move anywhere, except for this one spot. Help me! I don't know. How do I talk to you? Okay, there we go. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. It's hidden. It's, he's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in the same courses until you get all the cap switches. The stars you found will show on each course starting screen. Okay, just pretty much a little bit of a tutorial. Anyways, so what I got so far is 12.5% of the game done already with 15 stars. So shoot into the wild blue. Well, there's two ways to do this one. Well, let me go ahead and go up here. I don't care about you, owl. I'm not I'm not going there right there. Nope. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? So just pretty much you hold on to him, then you'll be flying up in the air. Nah, nah, I'm not going to do that. Hello, ba -bomb. What's up, man? Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you. And from there, you'll be able to get two stars. One hidden and one just over there. Yeah, just blast off. So you could either go ahead and try to shoot for the star right there, or you'll be or you if you want, you just go up here, jump on there, if I can actually get the angle right. Come on. Let's see if I can do this right. Whoops, too far. Okay, let's try this again. He nope. Let me try this again. Oh wait, yeah, there's a wall right there. Or a ceiling right there. Ah, I'm not so good with this game. He oh, one more time, one more time. I think I can make it. Nope. Okay, there's just different ways of doing this. Wait, do I have to do it from up here? I don't know. That looks easier now, doesn't it? One more time, one more time. I am stubborn. Nope, I can't do it. I am a failure at a Super Mario game. Oh well, let's do it the way it was meant to be done. Just get into the cannon, load up the cannon, and go ahead and aim. I'll just aim for that pillar right there. There you go. Now slide down the pole. And then go over here to collect the star. Again, there's different ways of doing it, but I'm a failure at a Super Mario game, so I can't do it that way. So there we go. Just be careful that you don't shoot yourself off. And I've already actually copied down the file just in case if there's going to be another corruption as you saw in the last episode, which I really, really, really hate. <sighs> There's nothing I could do about that. It's just either I accept it or just go and try to fight it and try to redo everything, which I really don't want to do. Just want to show you guys the let's the let's play problems. It happens to a lot of people. Some people are able to actually recover the recording. Some people are un unable to, and they have to start over. And then somehow, if their original file from the video game gets corrupted. Ooh, that's gonna suck right then and there. I cannot imagine having to do a, like a whole entire video game all over again. It's already bad enough that you have to do a hundred percent, but for you to tr like, you literally get like 75 to 90 percent of it done, and then all of a sudden it gets corrupted and you lose everything you just worked for. I would not want to be able to do that. No, 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 no. I'm. I'd be done. I'd be really, really done if I were to do that. Okay. So over here, there's going to be a little... Oh, come on. There we go. Since we've already defeated the Thwomp, he's gone. And then there's some coins right here that we can get. You just got to keep hitting this stupid thing. Just the momentum of it for the plank to fall. And I fell. Whew. Get away, Thwomp. Nobody likes you. Ah, no. What the heck? Okay. I'll accept that. There we go. Whew. I am still not used to the Wii Pro Controller. It's just weird. If you ever if you ever get this, and you... Oh god. That was weird. Well, if you ever actually get the Wii Pro Controller, you probably will understand how I feel about this. It's so, so weird. It's really, really weird. Okay. Go up here, and the dog is snoring. Lovely. Okay. Ow. Stop snoring. Come on, you're so old. Why do I even bring you into this room? <laughs> I'm gonna have to kick it out after like 
after getting the star. I'm gonna kick I'm gonna kick the dog out so you will not be able to hear her snore. I really hope you can't even hear her snore. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna see this. If if you're able to hear her snore, then I am sorry. Just hopefully it doesn't bother me too much. Okay. Jump. Yes, I got it. You don't wanna jump. Don't wanna jump off. Okay. Go over here. And then we get the the last red coin. God dang it, the stupid pro controller. There we go. <sighs> I keep do I'm keep I'm keep trying to do the long jump, but it won't allow me to. It's just this controller's so weird. They didn't really configure it right. So we're done with the eight or the red coins on the floating aisle. So let me go back in here. And what else do I need to get? Fall into the caged island, which you will need to use the owl again, which I actually woke up earlier by accident. I didn't think you were able to wake it up then. Yep. He jump. Oh wait. Oh, I was supposed to hold A. Dang it. Get back here. Whew. I love the owl. The owl is pretty cool. I don't want to go that way. Can I control you? Am I able to control you? Okay, I'm done. No! God dang it. <laughs> Ow. That's that that went well, right? Hmm. Am I able to do a am I able to do a glitch here? Come on. How do I crawl? Okay, there we go. E <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. That is so cool. I know you were able to glitch somewhere around here. I just don't remember where. I think you have to I think you have to glitch right in this corner right here. If I remember right. Come on. Dang it. Come on. I don't know. I don't remember the exact spot, but you're able to glitch through there. You'll be able to swim under level and then you could just fall off right after. Is the owl back yet? Okay, there you go. Just had to make sure, because the owl takes a sometimes it takes a while to get back down. Okay, come over here. And nope. Turn around. Turn around. This way. And let go. No no no. God dang it. I did it again. Ah. <sighs> well then. Where are you, owl? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well then. That happened. Okay. He <laughs> just okay. He oh my god, yeah, I think they did patch it up. Just look just look at me. I'm just I'm just going all over the walls here. You wouldn't think that would patch it, even though this game is so old. They patch a lot of things in Legend of Zelda, but look, look at that. Look at that. That you cannot you're not supposed to be able to do that. Oh well. Are you back yet? Come on, owl. Are you back yet? Okay, you're back. Come on, come on, let's try this one more time. Third time's a charm. Ah, <sighs> come on, stupid owl. I can't call you stupid. I'm the one that failed. Okay, and let go. Oh my god, it's stupid. Oh my god. Oh, dang it all. I never had this much trouble in the Nintendo 64 version, but still. The momentum of you falling forward is just too, too much. Okay. At least we have peaceful music to listen to. Okay, now it's over. Okay. Let's see if I get this one. Place your bets, everyone. Will I make it this time? Holy... Come on. And jump. There we go. I don't care. I fell. I got hurt. It's okay. We're done with it. There was another way to actually get up there, which I just remembered it's possible. You just have to jump at the right moment, and then you slide into the cage. But, we're good here. We're good. Now let's see what else we need to do from this one. Blast away the wall. Yep, the one I was talking about, the hidden star. You wouldn't think it would be around here, but hey, it's there. There's two ways to get it as well. One of them is that you have to glitch through it, and then the other way is just, of course, hit it with a cannon. I would rather hit it with a cannon and try to glitch through it. And then we hit our heads on that. Worth it! Okay, let's see if I'll be able to actually shoot onto it. See if I can save myself some time. But you know me, I fail a lot of things. And shot. And I got it. First try. 
I'm very, very happy for that. And now the last thing that we need to do for this level is of course get the 100 coins, which it's really, really easy. A lot of it is that you have to kill the piranha plants. So, let me see, which one would be a good one? I don't remember. I'll go ahead and do red coins. Yeah, I'll do red coins. This looks like a good one to do. Jump. Go over here. No, there's no coins over there. Oh, wait. Please tell me that didn't get rid of the blue coin. Nope, it didn't. I'm happy for that. Okay. I know there's coins right here. There's a ring around the coins right here. I love it. Ring around the rosies. Pocket full of posies. Okay. Now, let's see if I can... Nope, I can't. Okay. So... What do you guys think of Super Mario 64? I've gotten some comments saying that people used to play this game or this is one of the first Mario games I've ever played other than Super Mario World. I would have loved to play Super Mario World, but I didn't have a Nintendo or sorry. Well, same thing. I didn't have a I didn't have a Nintendo system back then. Or Super Nintendo for that matter. All I had was a Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 64 was my first game and or sorry, first console and the first game that I fell at. Really? You really you gonna do this to me now? Okay. Wow, more fails this time. Death number three. Okay, let's try this again. So, yeah, Super Mario, Super Mario 64 was one of the first games I've ever bought, or sorry, ever owned. Wow. Apparently the invincibility system in this one does not work so well. <sighs> you know, you, you guys know, when you're, when you're Invincible for a few seconds, you can do whatever you want for that few seconds, but apparently in this one you can't. It's so stupid. I'm just keeping quiet to see if there's any, if the other dog is actually barking in the background. Well, Star wants to come in. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm back. I just had to do a little bit of a jump cut there because a lot of things were going on in the background at the exact same time. Okay, so again, with the invincibility thing, you would think that for a few seconds of invincibility, you were able to jump on the Piranha Pete's head, but apparently it does not work in this game. You could just go face through, face through people or enemies to be exact, but you just can't kill them even if you're invincible, which I kind of find a little bit stupid, but hey, gotta love video games that have a little bit of more difficulty. I don't like the ones that actually just hand you everything. Even though it's easy to beat and it can be fun at times, but if they hand you everything in the game, that's just not fun. Honestly, it won't be as fun as you would think it would be. Come on. No, god dang it. I got I just got squashed on the side. I couldn't even jump. Okay. Oh, didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So this is one of the easier levels to actually get 100 coins in. Just one of the easier levels. I can't remember which one's the one that you could absolutely get the quickest, but this is just one of them. And hopefully I don't fail at this one. If I do, then I'll be sad. I just don't want to I just don't want to fail. Come on. All I have to do is hit that pillar right. That's a good shot. No! Whew. That was close. Didn't want to fall there. Nope. I don't want to get another death count. I think I'm at three right now. No wait, four. I'm at four. Stupid coins, get back here. Mm, there we go. So what was I saying earlier? Yes, Nintendo 64 was my very first console. Legend of Zelda was my very first game. Ocarina of Time, of course. And then I got Wave Race. I had Donkey Kong 64. I have Bugs Live. I even have Mario Party, but I lost that game. I completely, like, completed that game with every single mini game, every single high score. One of my favorites was doing the little crane game. It was my absolute favorite. I just couldn't get enough of it. Yep, there we go. And we're 80% done. Don't want to fall, don't want to fall, don't want to fall, and I'm good with that. Dang it. Okay. You, no, god dang it. Didn't want to fall there either. Okay, let me see if I could actually shoot myself over there. Come on. Let's go over there. Oh, so, so close. Oh well, it's pretty good. I wanted to be here anyway so I could actually get to the arrow where there's a lot of coins at that arrow. Stupid Bullet Bill! Go away. But Super Mario 64 was, I think, like my fifth or sixth game I've ever owned. 
but I gotta say, I love it. It's a fun, fun game. I recommend it if you actually have a Nintendo Wii or the Wii U. Go ahead and download it. It's very nice. It's really cool to get. It's just very, very fun too. And then if you're watching these videos, you'll know how to get every single star. Hopefully you'll be able to beat it as faster or beat the game faster than I can. I'm just gonna see if I can do this all from memory. It's just a very nostalgic game for me to play. Okay, I just want to quit right here because I'm already done with this level. So what else is there to do? Well, time to go back to this snowy, snowy place. Pretty sure I failed so much that I went to another place. I have no idea why though. Wall kicks will work. Wait, why in the world did I actually go out of order? I don't even know. Ooh, didn't want to do that. So where was it? Ah oh, yes, it's over there. I think. I don't remember exactly. Somewhere around here. If no, like, come on, jump already. Okay. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, no. That's not what I wanted to do. That happened. Let's see if I actually could control my fall from there. Because there's shortcuts. I've even seen a speedrun person that did this before. I don't remember where exactly he jumped up from, but he was able to control himself. Yep. Okay. Good start, good start. He was able to get the star within like 16 seconds. I was amazed by that. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Hmm. Okay. Let's go up here. Ow. Man, I'm just failing all over the place. Seriously, how do people do it so good? Oh, dang it. No. No! Wait. It's right there anyways. Why am I trying so hard? Okay. Yeah, there you go. One way is that, you know, where the, the mother penguin is at, is that all you had to do was pretty much shoot yourself from the cannon and make sure you don't kill yourself. Oof, I just didn't want to bother doing that. And this game is so forgiving that they leave you an infinite supply of health. Yeah, they do. So, appreciate the, what they're doing for you. How am I failing at this jump? Hmm. I think I know why. Okay, jump. Yeah. There you go. And... No! No! God dang it! Why do I even bother? Seriously, why? Come on. Okay. Hmm. Yep. Yep, there we go. Well. This is this is what happens when I try to speedrun things. I always fail at it. Okay. I just want to see how fast I can actually beat this game. So this one, yes, this one's the easiest one to actually go ahead and actually get all of the hundred coins as quickly as possible. Really, really easy. Pretty much, just go up here and just jump up there. And let's go in here. And don't pay attention to the penguin. Don't ta pay attention to the penguin. Just go ahead and jump. Do not even speak to the penguin. He does not exist. He's an abomination of everything that's all love and caring. And then we go over here, jump up there. And don't go through the shortcut. So tempting, but nope, you don't need to go through the shortcut. Because a lot of the coins are right here. No, no, new, no, don't you dare fall on me. Look at that, look at all that beautiful coins. The only thing I like about the Pro Controller is that the, it's smooth. You can do sharp turns rather easily. And then you go over here with all these wonderful, wonderful coins. You're already at 80. Look at that, there hasn't even been a minute yet. Just, if you really want to, you could just go ahead and get that star, but why would you? You're on the hunt for 100 coins. So, what you needed to do, really, is that you had to go on this little trolley system, or, what's it called? Ah, what was it called? I don't even remember. I honestly don't. Well, since I'm, since I'm here anyways, let's go up here. And then you had to talk to the pink bomb bomb right there. Hey, what's up, buddy? What's up? Yeah, you'll prepare the cannon for me. Why, thank you. 
And I can hear the thing still going as this is happening. Are you gonna come back for me? Are you gonna come back for me? Yes, you are. Thank you kindly. Oh god, no! Oof. That would have been bad. I don't remember how many how many coins there are at the other side of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just collect some more coins around here before I go back. Just just to be safe. Just to be safe. Or in fact, I could just easily go back up there and go to the blue coin area anyway, so here's another spot for the blue coins. If I could stop messing around and hugging trees, I am not a tree lover here. Okay. Uh, this is good. Over here. Some coins over here as well. Pretty nice. And then I could go over here and... Oh, I just smacked myself and I fell down here. Okay. So the blue coins area is right there. Above that little spot right there. If I would stop sliding, but hey, all the coins are right here. Don't matter now. Just go over that ledge and you'll be able to get it. And here is 101. And with that, we are done with this level. Save, yes I want to, and yes I want to exit out. So we got one, two, and three spots already done. So we could go over here, activate the door. Oh yeah, you need a metal cap here. You're able to actually, you're able to actually do this without the metal cap. Hmm. You know what? I'll save this level for later. I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, if I can move right, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the Peaches Race. Yeah, that's fun, just sliding around. So you activate this door. Hmm. Gotta love how this whole entire castle is powered up by stars, but once you go to a brand new game, it's no longer powered by stars. So you would think that this is a dead end, right? Nope, all you have to do is go right. Come on, there you go. And then there's two stars you need to get with this. One of them is to beat the time within 20 seconds or less, and the other one is just to complete it and hit the block and you're good to go. So let's see if I could actually get this right. I know there's like a, I know there's like a shortcut you could take, but I don't need to do that, I think. I think I could make it. I think I can. I think I can, and... There you go. Wait, what was it? 25 seconds or less? But I made it. Look, there's two stars you can get. I'd rather get the more difficult star out of the way first. Just get that out of the way. Don't worry about that. And then you come back down here. One of the castle secret stars. What a great place to put a secret, right? Oh, I almost fell out that one. And then, of course, we do it one more time. And we get the easy star out of the way. What does the sign say? I want to know what this says. Let me see. Over. Oh, don't want to slide off yet? Come on. Over to the sign. When you slide, press 4 to speed up. Okay. That's it. And they have this. I don't know why they would have this to begin with. Honestly, I don't. There's no 100 stars, or sorry, 100 coins you could get out of this. So I don't know why they would have it to begin with. It's just, it's just there to have a high score out of it. Simply put it as that. Oof, I'm getting all the coins already. How nice. Yep. No, I missed one. Oh well. Again, you don't get 100 coins out of this area, so it doesn't really matter. I even tried to get all the coins, but that didn't work anyways. I was kind of disappointed. Come on, let me see if I can do this right. Let me see if I can do this right. Ooh, so, so close. Ah, can't even show off. I only got one life left? Wow, I suck at this game. Oh well. Well, at least it's a free life right there. So I am done with this area for now. I could go to another spot, but I'm not going to do that right now. What I'm going to do is go ahead and defeat Bowser so I'll be able to open the door to another spot anyways. There we go. Activate that. And we go over here. <laughs> Don't be fooled by the picture. Bwahahaha, you stepped right into my trap. Just I knew as you would. I warned you, friend. Watch your step. Good luck. 
go over here. Oh, no. New. New. No, 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 no. Okay, that'll help. Yep. Come on. Let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can make it. Let's see if I can make it. I can make it. I made it. I am so, so good. And... There we go. No! Oh, well. Let's go the long way. I don't know how these guys do it so well. Like, they could do this eight, eight coin run in like 52 seconds. I'm like, wow. Whew, I, I will never stop talking about speedrunners. They amaze me so, so much. The dedication, the timing, the acknowledgement of the game. They do it so well. I don't know, like, how would you even get around to that? How much time and trial and error do you have to face before you actually get the best time? Especially for a world record. I th Wait, there is a Guinness World Record for, for gaming. I'm glad they did, did that. Like, seriously. They even recognized gaming as a competitive era. Or a spa to do. I don't know. I don't know the proper words. I am tired, but I'm still continuing to make this. Let's see. There's going to be a coin on the left. Oh, whoa, 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 don't want to risk it, don't want to risk it. I am not used to the Wii Pro Controller, so I'm not going to risk any fancy smancy stuff. Just as when I was about to fall. Okay. No, God! Wow. 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 Just wow. God dang it all. Let's try this again. If you fail the first time, you can get it the second time. Okay. So let me see, go over here, heep, and then jump over here. You know, I wanted to check out the latest gaming edition of the Guinness World Record. See if anyone that I've heard of is actually on there. You know, like Cosmo Speedrun, Siglimic, Stibity Bobo. That's all I know, honestly. I only know those three. It's kind of sad that I like speedrunners, but I don't know all the names. This is why I like to watch ADDQ. AD, yeah, did I say it right? Well, that's that's one of the things they've done, or SDA, Speed Demos Archive. They do ADHQ, wait, huh, <sighs> awesome games done quick, okay, <laughs> okay, awesome games, AG, AGDQ, there you go, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> oh god, wow, I almost failed on that one, whew, okay, again, Gotta respect the gamers. They know exactly what to do. They know where to jump, the right pixel for the timing and everything. It just amazes me. But go ahead and check out SDA or Speed Demos Archive if you are interested in speedruns and seeing your favorite games done in the quickest manner as possible, whether it be glitching or single segment where there is no retakes or there's no starting over. It's just then and there, they got a record and Poof, everyone's like, oh my god, I didn't know there's so many glitches and I don't even know how this game could be so broken. Like Legend of Zelda, that has been, the record for Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time has been changed so much, my god. I'm a failure. I am just a failure. This is kill count number six? Huh. Okay. 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 I got zero lives. Let's see if I can do this without dying again. <laughs> the reason why I'm so bad is that I'm trying to do a commentary as I'm playing the game. It's... it's oh my god. Wow. Wow. <laughs> First game over. Let me pick your nose. I'm a sore loser. I gotta pick my nose. Oh well. It's so, so glitchy. Okay. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> I am such a failure. Okay. But yes, look up Awesome Games Done Quick, or just look up SDA, Speed Demos Archive, or even I'll even put the link in the description below so you can see all of your games done as quickly as possible. Like Pokemon Green, you could beat that game in five minutes. Why are you snoring? God dang, you're so loud. Stop snoring. Okay. So, like what I said about Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. 
the record has been broken so many times. What? No! No! How did that happen? Nowhere it touched me! I was fine! And then like two seconds later I got burned! My bum! My biscuits got burned! Okay. Yep. Yep. There we go. That'll work. Oh my god, I slid off the corner. <laughs> I am such a failure! <sighs> well. I keep failing. I just can't I just can't stop failing. Maybe it's late at night. Or maybe it's because of the the sensitivity of the controller. Blame it on the controller. It's stiff. It's honestly stiff. And I'm, I made it. Yeah. At least I'll redeem for one of my fails. Oh my god, I tried to do the big long jump. It's the controller, people. It's the controller. Once you play this game with this controller, you will understand the little bit of a difficulty it actually is to play this game. Some people may already got used to it, but I am not used to it. It's just, it's so stiff. Giggity, right? Giggity. Everyone's going to be doing perverted jokes, but I don't care. I'm saying it as it is with a straight face. So back to... <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to promote these people, but I can't do it! So it's Speed Demos Archive, you can check out the videos that they upload. Legend of Zelda has been broken so many times, like, it took them years to find out a brand new glitch, which pretty much breaks the game entirely where you're able to beat the game in under 20 minutes or less. That's how amazing these people are at finding these glitches. They are dedicated to find anything that's broken within the game to actually benefit them and aid them to beat the game so quick, to have a world record for it. Like Saglimic, go ahead and watch him play Super Mario 64. It's amazing. And these guys, they literally do it for a living where they have Twitch to do their live streams on and they'll be just playing the game. Maybe the commentary itself is good, but they had more practice than I did. Some of them, they just stay focused on trying to, like, do everything without any stumbling. Oh my god. Whew, that was close. That was a close one right there. Oh my god. I don't care. I don't care to change the camera because anything that I do, I fail at. How long have I been in this one? Okay, I'm going to try to do this one right here. At least this one's doable. See, look at that. Good old shortcut. Why, Star? Why did you kick my chair? Okay. Play it play cool. Play it safe. Don't you dare fall off. Okay. Got the coin. I'm going to play it safe now. I could have been done with this seven minutes ago, but I just chose not to be safe and just go on it recklessly. Well, again, I am commentating while playing the game. This is where post commentary comes in handy, where it's easier, but at the same time, live commentary is where it's at, where it's genuine, the reactions are real, and the fails itself, you don't have to fake it. Yeah, like, you really don't have to fake it, because with post commentary, you have to fake every reaction, which I really don't want to do. I've done it before. That was my old Let's Plays and some of the old recordings that I've done. And here, it's very, very good. All you have to do is just collect the star and all you do is just save. You don't get kicked out of the world. You just come back down here and you're good to go. Now time to fight Bowser for the very first time. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Boo ha ha ha. Go ahead and try to grab me by the tail. Why in the world? Oh my god. Ganondorf did this in a later game of Wind Waker. And now Bowser did this in the earlier game. What is it with villains and people who tell you their plan and tell you how to defeat them? Of course, this is a kid's game after all, so why should I critic this? But, nah, whatever. You'll never be able to get a... Oh wait, you'll never be able to swing me around. Thank you for another tip. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha. Same thing with the bomb. 
King Bomb Mom, you a wimp like you? Apparently, wimp is like a thing that you never want to be called. Like seriously, in school, you never want to be called a wimp. You just want to show people how tough you are, and that you're not a wimp. That you're willing to eat that cockroach. But then you pay for it later by going to the doctor for getting your stomach pumped. I just love doing this. I just love doing this. This is so cool. You can do it as infinitely amount of time as you want. And look how Mario, he doesn't swing whatsoever. He is in the same motion. In real life, you wouldn't be able to do this. You'd be swinging all over the place. Yep, he says it in this one. He doesn't say, here we go. He says, so long. Yeah. So long, Bowser. They never, they never censor that. And why are you so mad, Bowser? Oh my God, this is, this is slow. Okay. And then you just gotta time it right and hit him in the head with a bomb. There you go. You are good to go. Poor, poor Bowser. Grr, I was just a bit careless. This is not as I planned, but I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Wow, you'll you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. And then, of course, we get the key. Look at that. It's an awesome key. We get a key that shape is like Bowser. And then we are done with this spot here. Yeah! Congratulations! Bowser in a dark world clear. I wonder what happens if you do get 100, 100 coins in it. Do you get a secret star? I doubt it, but I'm not going to spend time doing this. So, with that, this is going to be the end of this episode. A lot of failing on this one. How many times have I died? I got to have to look back and look at it. I think I've died like seven times. I don't even remember. I know I've gone one game over, but until then, have a great day, everyone. I am SotoKing090, and as always, I will see you in the next video, or episode, or however you want to call it.